In the last video, I discussed Ubisoft's new details about social stealth, customization, and settlements. While these improvements will hopefully bring Valhalla back to its AC roots while simultaneously moving it in a new direction, I want to discuss more updates in this video such as the combat, map size, and the raids assaults. The combat in AC series has changed drastically throughout its installments. It started off being a parry counter and attack to a more open combat, and with Origins and Odyssey, a skill-based combat system with more abilities. But the combat has always felt a little lackluster. You never really get a feeling of hitting somebody with the exception of Black Flag. For me, you could feel how hard Kenway was throwing himself into his combat. With the Vikings being famous for combat and their Berserker Warriors, Ubisoft drastically needed to update their combat, and luckily they seem to be doing just that. They are making the attacks feel more impactful, violent, and heavy, and even adding dismemberment and decapitation. Quoting Ismail on the subject, Well, the Viking Age was really brutal. We needed to deliver that. Some of the key terms we were using early in the project were visceral, crunchy, brutal, weighty. We wanted every swing of an axe to mean something. You can feel it. These are great features that they're adding to the combat system in Assassin's Creed. Being able to really feel the swing of an act is going to bring the game to a whole new level. Adding upon the impact and feel, Ubisoft is also adding more weapons to our dual wielding specialist. These include tomahawks, maces, flails, and interestingly enough, shields. Yes, shields are back in the game and you'll be able to actually dual wield them. Which is going to make for some interesting gameplay mechanics. I can't think of any other game that had actual dual wielding shields in it, so Ubisoft could be the first. If we can crush someone between two shields though, that could make for some insane combat. Quoting Ismail again, The central mechanic has been reinvigorated to really showcase the visceral newness and brutality of the time period, and increase the series notoriously lacking sense of impact, all while ensuring that the 15 to 20 hours players are still working their way through an expanded variety of enemies to keep the things from getting stale. Yes, it seems that there will be a variety of new enemies for us to engage with. I believe I read 12 to 25 different types of enemies to fight, but I couldn't remember or where I found that info from. But at any rate, upgrades and changes to the AI are always welcome. My one hope is that when fighting groups of enemies, they work together and it's not an enemy circle around you while you fight 1v1 because, honestly, that was never really fun. These guards should all be attacking, especially the ones from the behind. This fighting just doesn't seem realistic. Now, some info about the map size has been revealed. I thought the Odyssey map was massive, honestly, and apparently Valhalla is even a bit bigger than that. Ubisoft has recreated most of England and even parts of Norway. To quote Ismail, It is Norway in the dark ages of England, specifically the 9th century. In terms of England, it is quite a large map. We focus on four major kingdoms of England during the time period, Wessex, North Umbria, East Angela, and Mercia. So for history buffs, they can look for that. It's a large part of England and within that you have three major cities, London, Winchester, and Jorvik. Now called York in modern days, but Jorvik back then. And then we have a ton of towns and of course we have Norway as well. Ubisoft is becoming quite ambitious in these later installments of the AC series. The original AC was very streamlined and closed off in terms of the world that you were in. As time has gone and they have created more and more space and opportunities for us as players, which I greatly appreciate. Now have they bitten off more than they can chew is the real question, and at one point are some locations pointless for the overall game. At any rate, there is going to be plenty to explore, pillage, and see in Valhalla, and I cannot wait to take in every bit of it. There was also this little quote from Lafieri stating that there are other secret worlds as well. To what extent has not been disclosed, but the only secret worlds that I can think of are Asgard and the other eight realms, like Midgard and Jotunheim. Just think Thor and Marvel and you'll know what I'm talking about. This is a very interesting quote because of another quote that Ismo made talking to Game Informer, saying that the game is more grounded. The Viking belief system was an everyday thing, it's a very different from other belief structures. It's more about making deals with the gods, it's less about an omnipotent being. They see signs in the world, if you see a squirrel running by, that has a spiritual significance to someone who believes in that. That's the sort of what we're hinting at in the trailer. Eivor sees something in the battlefield and that to him meant something. We approach it from the perspective of a personal journey of Eivor, someone who has a background in Norse belief and who grew up in that culture, and who believes in the sagas and the stories of the time period. So these two quotes seem to be conflicting. If they're aiming for a left mythological game compared to Odyssey, why would we be able to visit secret worlds? I guess we'll have to wait and find out more information. Ubisoft introduced conquest battles in Odyssey, and to be honest, they kind of sucked. It didn't feel epic. Sure, there are lots of enemies, but you only had to target one person to end it. I don't believe enough work went into these scenarios as they were very underwhelming. So with Valhalla coming out, Ubisoft is including raids and assaults, hopefully more ironed out versions of the conquest. Now I looked through the internets and there isn't much info about raids or assaults. Raids will not be conquest-esque. In an interview done by Press Star and Ismail where he is quoted saying, you're out in England to attack various enemies, various factions to weaken them to gain resources using your raiding party and bring back those resources to your settlement and you use those resources to grow your settlement. So the raids are going to be smaller battles against other settlements or towns that will help you get resources for your own settlement. 
Then you can use those resources to upgrade your gear, weapons, longship, and even your own raiders. In another quote with Ismail, so you have a longship and a crew. These are characters that you meet in the world, characters that you will go on journeys with. And there are characters you can customize and build as well. They're called Yom's Vikings. So a lot of effort has gone into your raiders. These are people who also live in your settlement. Hopefully these AI raiders can get some wicked upgrades to their weapons and armor to become the fiercest raiding party throughout England. Being able to customize your own raiding party adds a nice touch in making the settlement your own. So it seems that the assaults are going to be the conquest of Valhalla. These are going to be the attacks on the castles. And as described by Ismail, assaults are the massive set piece moments that are wrapped around the game's narrative. The basis of these activities comes from Ubisoft Montreal's actual research on the era and how frequently they took place between the Vikings and the various English kingdoms like Wessex. Ubisoft really needs to nail these assaults if they want to create a truly epic eventful scenario for people. They cannot end up like Odyssey's Conquest. I want to see hundreds of soldiers, catapults, archers, people getting slaughtered everywhere with body parts lying on the ground, but for real. I don't really care if there's only two of these in the entire game, they just need to give us THE castle raiding experience. And that's all the info in this video guys. With all the new info, the combat updates for me are the most important and exciting. But if Yubi can really nail the assaults on the castles, that could even be better. The map size and details sound like it's going to be crazy and raiding killing others to keep my people safe sounds pretty cool as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please thumbs up and like the video and until next time, peace.